Today's project diary is a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a free raised vegetable bed. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. As you can see for the past few weeks I've been growing some of Grandad's favourite vegetables but now they need to go into the ground. So in this episode I'm going to teach you how to make a free raised vegetable bed. Now the wood I'm going to use today is from a free pallet. If you don't know how to source these yet, ask for some at your local supermarket or garden centre or check online, you can get these free all the time on Gumtree. Now if you don't already know how the wood's been treated, here's a link to my pallet safety video. Please watch this before starting any projects involving pallet wood. Now the next step is to get a hammer and a crowbar and break this up. Now you can make these beds as long as you like, but the minimum depth for square foot gardening is 6 inches deep. So once you've got your pieces that are 4 inches long and 6 inches deep, you need to get some uprights. So I just need to cut four of these six inches long. So just get your tape measure and a pencil and measure out six inches across. Then get your saw and you can use that flush up against there. And that'll give you a straight edge. Now I'm using two by two, but depending on what pallet you have, it could be four by twos or four by fours. It's completely up to you what wood you use for the uprights. Just do that three more times. Now all the pieces are cut to size, I've just laid them out to give me a rough idea. Now if you look carefully you can see the one on the left is a flush finish and the one on the right has a plank size lip. Now hopefully you saved all the nails from earlier. If you are using nails you need to get one of these pieces, cut a 45 degree angle in each end, put it on this side and nail them in because once the soil's in it's going to start pulling all the wood apart but luckily I've got loads of screws left over from a previous job so I'm going to use those. Now as I said before, one side's going to have a flush finish, so I'm going to lay the upright right against the side of the plank and just mark it off. Now for the other side, I'm going to use a scrap piece of wood, the same thickness as the planks that I'm using, and just mark down this edge. Once that line's done, I'm going to get one of the upright pieces of wood, lay it up against the line I've just drawn, and mark out the next length. Then just do the same measurements on the other three pieces. Now you don't have to measure out this next piece, all you have to do is gauge by eye the centre between each line. Just roughly guess where each screw hole is going to be, and then countersink each hole. Countersinking each hole makes life a lot easier, and helps the screws go in straight. Now using the first upright on one end to raise the plank in order to keep it level, get the second piece and lay it between the two measurement lines. Once you're happy the two pieces are correctly in place, get a screw, use the body weight and screw the pieces together. Now the reason why I'm using two screws is to stop any movement once it's all been assembled. Don't forget that one side has the overhang lip and the other side is flush. Joining each piece this way also stops any movement once the raised bed is finished. Do the same with the other piece and then all you need to do is screw in the sides. So I've nearly finished the build but I don't know if you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day and it's just starting to snow. It's a really random spring today. Now the bed's in place, I found a bunch of these. I'm just going to put these underneath the wood to level it out as we are on a slope and this will help the wood not to rot. So there you go, all finished and installed. The last thing I need to do now is add loads of homemade compost. Now if you enjoyed this video, you're going to love my next one. It's going to be four times as big as this and I'll teach you how to do square foot gardening. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to keep up to date on all my future videos, don't forget to subscribe now. Here's some links to all of my other videos on how to build, make, collect and grow things in your garden. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.